Hey there, and this is a uh, instructional video just for looking at topping up surf mat uh, grip. Um, this is aimed at the mats with polyurethane sealants applied to the deck at manufacture, uh, so generally lighter weight mats. Um, as you can see, I've already made a bit of a start here. What you need for this job is some sealant. So in this case, uh, Sikaflex EBT. Uh, this is the one I tend to use on my mat. Um, I really like it because it's uh, uh, polyurethane based, not uh, it's VOC free, so it's environmentally relatively good as these things, uh, as good as these things can be, really. Um, and this is clear because the grip on this is uh, is also clear on this mat. The view with a clear grip is that you can actually apply it over uh, coloured uh, grips, uh, and obviously you can see the colour come through. Um, but you can also use. Uh, uh, sealants to match the colour that you've got. Um, in the US, uh, look for um, Sicker Bond Construction Adhesive, which is uh, the same stuff under a different brand. I have no idea why they need that. Um, so as well as that, you need some masking tape, obviously, also a spreader. Um, this is one that comes in the uh, repair kits that are available in the store on matsurface.com. Um, and in terms of the masking tape, uh, try and get a few thicknesses um, to, to kind of match the gaps in the grip so that you cover that up. Um, now with the masking this off, uh, with the actual gaps, you don't need to be overly precise. You do want to get to them, but it's, uh, my experience is rather, rather than taking hours and hours over this, actually just uh, mask so that you're slightly over the edge of the grip. So you're, you're actually uh, kind of topping up inside what's already there. So uh, just a strip down like that. Um, this is slightly wider than the gap. Um, and then first off, just pat it down. And then you can go along the length just to, just to get it in there. Um, same again on, on this side. So it's just patting it down. And then uh, just give it a little rub. And then on the ends, just, just masking around the, uh, the corners. And what you might find helpful is uh, if you look at the ends, um, if you just kind of fold a little tab um, on the end of the, the tape, then it gives you something to grab and you pull it off later. Okay, so that's all taped up. So the next thing is um, make sure that you're wearing gloves, obviously. Uh, what we're gonna do is uh, look at spreading some sealant on and then uh, texturing it. So the way to texture it, one option is to use a nail brush. Um, and what you do is when you spread it on, you just dab like this. This is the way that I used to do it and it works fine. Um, you, can, you might find that actually leaving the grip putting the new sealant on, leaving it maybe for a minute or two, and then coming back. And rather than this, actually putting it on and pushing down, just to really stipple it up. The other option, and what I use for uh, my, my grip jobs commercially, is to use a foam textured roller. Um, so you actually just smear it on, and then give it a bit of this. Be aware of splatters if you're doing this though. And I'm gonna use this one for, the, for this job. So the job then is to just apply some blobs just along the length like that. We're not doing a full on grip of the mat because the mat's already gripped. All we're doing is topping it up so we don't need tons. Um, so once you've got it on, uh, just a little tip as well, make sure that the end of the nozzle that you put it down somewhere where if it drips, it's dripping onto something that is it's allowed to drip onto. Um, so then it's spreading it out. So this is like, if you imagine uh, for the people who've done it, this is a bit like glass in a surfboard. If you watch videos of glasses working, so just spreading it out, getting nice and even. Okay, so um, that's that spread out. And so now using the roller, it's literally just a case of rolling along the mat. Just 
texture up. Again, just making sure that you're not uh, inadvertently rolling onto anything that's not masked. Um, I'm just looking at topping up. Okay, so that's added some texture. Um, so, once you've done that, just making sure you have somewhere in mind. I'm in my workshop so I know where to put things, but just make sure that you've got somewhere to put stuff. So when you're taking things off, I forgot to mention, put the strips on lengthwise, then put the grip around the edge. The job number one is just to pull the tape off that just mask the ends first. So once that comes. Again, just trying to make sure that you don't get sealant off your gloves onto the anywhere and then it's just peeling and my tip is to peel towards the strip of grip just to save any flicks even ones just straight up the middle you never really need to grip up towards the nose either it's around the tail is where the grip tends to wear so just just top it up on the bits that are worn. There's no point adding weight uh, to the mat for no reason. And if uh, at any point you need to put a hand down on the mat, top tip, sticky stuff there, back of the hand's usually all right. Put the back of your hand down, but do be careful that you're not just splodging it down into any, uh, any grit. Feeling really fancy, you can pull off a couple of strips at one go. Uh, tips from the pros. And the last one. There we go, so that's all done. So now what you do is just leave this for um, uh, leave this for a good 24 hours, let it properly cure. Um, if you go out too early on it, you're just gonna wear it flat again. Um, but after that, you, you'll feel like a new mat. Plenty of grip, ready to go. And then uh, down the line, if you need to top it up again, simple as that.